Well, every Friday, our In the Spirit segment, Orange County Register reporter Bill Cunningham looks at different faiths right here in Orange County. And today, he's taking a look at Islam. Bill's with our Judy Alley this morning. Good morning to both of you. Good morning, Pete. Good morning, Bill. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Friday to you. Next week, the Hajj begins as millions of Muslims worldwide head to the holy city of Mecca. OC Register reporter Bill Cunningham visited with Dr. Musamil Siddiqui at the Islamic Society of Orange County to learn more about this event. Bill, what did you learn about this? Well, the Hajj is a uh, journey both spiritual and physical. Muslims uh, head to Mecca where they perform certain religious rites. Dr. Siddiqui is very familiar with this. He's been 50, there 15 or 20 times. And he explains like uh, about the Kaaba, which is the cubicle building around which all this activity takes place. And he also talks to us about the Koran, which is the holy book of Muslims. And in the Muslim um, holy book, it talks about Abraham, who actually helped build the Kaaba. So let's take a listen. OK. Uh, Hajj brings people from all over the world. So it is a gathering of Muslims from all over. Uh, it connects them to their history, and it connects them to the people. Uh, first of all, Hajj is obligatory upon every Muslim who can afford it. So you have to be physically capable, and you have to be financially. You can afford that. Yeah, the first Hajj, when you perform, of course, that's the Hajj that is obligatory. That is uh, the Hajj of life. So that's very, very important. And uh, people always remember that first Hajj. I remember I performed my first Hajj uh, in 1962. That is the first time when I went there. Uh, it was certainly very moving. Many people think that this is was a pagan custom, that Prophet Muhammad uh, adopted it. Uh, that's not true from Islamic understanding because the Kaaba was built by Prophet Abraham. And Prophet Abraham was a monotheist. He was not a pagan. He was not a polytheist. He was a monotheist. He built the Kaaba for the worship of one God. Today, after 9-11 especially, uh, many people have the faith, thinking that Islam is a violent religion. Islam is a religion of aggression. Uh, Islam does not tolerate people of other faith. Uh, these kind of misconceptions are there, but this is not, very, this is not correct at all. So religious teachings have nothing to do with violence. But there are some, unfortunately, there are some individuals who commit those things and they go against the teachings of Islam. Even though they may use the name Islam, but they're abusing it. Islam means submission to God. So this is the objective. Live in obedience to God. God becomes the center of your life. Prophet Muhammad was a prophet of God, not God. Prophet Muhammad was a human being, servant of God. So Muslims do not worship Prophet Muhammad, do not consider him as an incarnation of, of God, and, uh, but they have certainly a lot of respect for him. Great honor for the Prophet. Whenever we mention his name, we say, peace be upon him. And this is to show our great reverence and great respect for the Prophet. But he's still human being, like other human beings. Quran says that say to the people of the book, but it means Christians and Jews, that your God and our God is one and the same. Uh, so this is the teaching of our religion, that you must recognize that Christians and Jews believe in the same God. Mosques are open for all people. Uh, we welcome people of other faiths to come and visit our mosque. That's a gorgeous mosque. I've never seen that before. Uh, it's, it's pretty impressive, Bill. Yes, and Dr. Siddiqui is, is always uh, welcoming to anybody who wants to come and learn about Islam. If you have any questions about uh, Muslim rights, mm -hmm. about uh, what they're trying to do here in Orange County, what they're trying to do worldwide, uh, you can visit that mosque in Garden Grove and just talk with them about that. Let's get back to Dr. Siddiqui. Uh, Abraham plays a key role in the Bible. He's also found in the Muslim holy book of the Quran. What is... Right. A, a, a lot of people don't un understand that, that, that some of these key people who are in the Bible right. are also in the Quran. Abraham is uh, in there. Uh, it talks about how he helped build the Kaaba, that holy building. Right. And uh, uh, the Quran also has... Jesus, Mary, Joseph, 
and uh, a lot of the other prophets that are known to Christians and Jews. A lot of similarities. Very much so. All right. Now, next week, we've got uh, Bishop Todd Brown on deck. Bishop Todd Brown, and he'll be uh, talking to us about the, what's going on in the Catholic Church and, okay. and uh, talking to us about Christmas. Always interesting. Thank you so much, Bill Cunningham.